Hi, Dr. Jasper here from wizardofhealth.net. In the next four minutes, we're going to talk about trigger point muscle pain causes. We're also going to show you what may be causing your own trigger point pain. First, let's go through some facts. Trigger points are actually quite common. We all may have one, but not even know it until we actually press into it. That's called a latent trigger point. Through some of the causes that we're going to discuss, that latent trigger point can begin to cause you pain even at rest. This then becomes what we call an active trigger point. Now let's go through some of the causes of trigger points. There's a large variety of causes of trigger points. To make it simpler to understand, I like to break them up into things we do at work, rest, or play. Let's look at work first. Muscles can begin to break down and develop trigger points from repetitive movements that one performs day in and day out. These can occur in computer workers, hairdressers, dentists, and musicians to name a few. This can also occur in more physical jobs where improper repetitive lifting postures can bring on trigger point pain. Now, trigger points aren't only caused by overuse. Our bodies can also develop trigger points from underuse. Sitting in one position all day can lead to shortened muscles. It's gotten so bad that medical professionals are calling prolonged sitting the new smoking with the same risk to your health. Now, wearing a cast for a period of time can also lead to trigger points since the muscles have not had any movements. The cast can come off and someone may think that their fracture hasn't healed when in fact it's the trigger points that are causing the pain. Postural imbalances can also lead to trigger points. Apart from sitting at the desk hunched over all day, having a simple thing as an uneven pelvis can shorten muscles on one side while you sit. In fact, I had a patient that created his own uneven pelvis by sitting on his thick wallet and it ended up developing trigger point pain. We got rid of the wallet and his trigger point pain went away. At play, we look at such things as direct trauma injuries or overuse sports injuries. Other forms of direct trauma include car accidents and sudden falls. Just when you think the list isn't big enough, we can look at nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, allergies, and even an intense coughing session. The question I often get is, if there are so many causes, how do I know which one is causing my pain? In order to answer this question, Let's use headaches from trigger points as an example. Let's say you had a car accident five years ago and developed trigger point pain. Over several weeks or months, the original injury healed and your active trigger points became latent. You begin to think your injury has resolved. However, you slowly change your sitting posture to one that feels comfortable and to avoid any discomfort. One year ago, you switched jobs to one where you sit at a computer all day but you continue sitting in the wrong posture. Over the year, your headaches increase to point that you begin blaming your new job on your muscle pains. But as you can see, the original injury was from a car accident five years ago. That's why it's important to finish a complete treatment program to address your trigger points instead of a quick fix. A complete program includes self-treating your trigger points or going to a health professional that's trained in it, beginning a stretching program, and progressing to a proper strengthening program. For more information on how to relieve your own trigger point pain, you can find more videos and articles at wizardofhealth.net. And thanks, and we'll see you guys in the next video.